Welcome to the Design Studio by the Solar Labs. In this video, we will learn how to design a solar PV system using the Solar Labs Design Studio in under 5 minutes. Let's begin by logging into our account. This is the projects page where you can see our past projects. Let's begin with creating a new project. Over here, you can either put in the latitude or longitude of the location or if it is a famous building, you can type in the name as well. Once you have narrowed down the building, zoom in to fit inside the box. On the left hand side, give your project a name and also fit in client details. Hit confirm. This will take you to the project summary page. You can find the project information on the top. If you scroll down a bit, you will be able to find the edit button next to consumption. Let's add and fill in consumption details. This is used for the calculation of financial analysis. Hit confirm. Let's hop on with our design. We'll give it a name and hit confirm. Through this button, you can go to the design studio where we will be able to design our PV system. To draw, we will use the polygon tool from the models menu. Let's draw out the edges of the building. Don't worry, the edges automatically snaps at 90 degrees. On the right hand side, we have the properties menu. Let's change the height and also the parapet height. The roof on which you need to place panel to be marked placeable and hit update. After that, as you can see, there are a couple of obstacles on the roof. Let's mark them out. For that, let's select the polygon tool again and mark out the edges of the obstacle. Give it an adequate height and don't forget to hit update. To draw a cylindrical polygon, choose the cylinder model, click on the center of the obstacle and hit tab to mention the radius of the cylinder. On the right hand side, change the height and click update. To place panels automatically, select the rooftop, click on fill face. In the properties menu, change the azimuth. In this case, we will place panels parallel to the southwest direction of the building and hit update. Click on the ground to access the home properties and now let's add inverters. Our DC size is around 22 kilowatts. Let's add the inverters which fits in that size. On the top bar, select this menu to save our project. Go to views section to view in 3D. Let's go back to the design summary page. Scroll down to see the generation analysis and the bill of materials. Let's add pricing now. Don't forget to hit confirm. Let's go to the top and click this button to download the report. The report will show you the system metrics, the annual production, the estimated savings up to 25 years, payback period and the components used. It also shows the monthly productions from January to December and a monthly table. Field segments, condition sets, the heat map and the project location and the losses accounted for. Lastly, we have a graph of cost not going solar. Thank you.